Today is the first part of an open-ended mission to complete all of the crossings of the River Thames. We are on a bus on a motorway. Ah, oh, that's boring. Welcome to Bullet Trust, hello everyone. If you haven't worked it out already, what we're going to do from here is board the DLR service, which is going to take us just across the river to King George V. Right, that's pointing at the sky. Signs for Elizabeth Line as well. That's new. Here's our DLR. Now we're going on the Thames. Wow, acceleration on this. Even more. And welcome to North Woolwich. Called North Woolwich because it's north of the river. So I'm not too sure why this station is called King George V. Maybe to avoid confusion with North, North Woolwich. As our DLR departs, Grand for Stratford International. Next stop is at London City Airport. Right, let's tap out and find this ferry then, shall we? So I think it's on the ferry. I think it's running. This boat service is clearly designed for cars, not pedestrians. This is the River Thames just here. And we're crossing over to Woolwich, just south of the river. Oh, the weather's not very nice today, is it? Yeah, I believe I'm currently the only pedestrian on board this ferry. At least there's a bus shop to here. Scrap the ferry, but we'll do the foot tunnel first of all because we've been waiting for the ferry for 10 minutes and it hasn't turned up and it uh, has just been sitting on the south bank at Woolwich and it's not moved in that time but we'll, we'll go all the way to the south bank to use this is a Woolwich foot tunnel, it's pedestrian only uh, and runs underneath the river Thames also uh, cycles aren't allowed on the Woolwich ferry so if you're cycling then you will need to use this tunnel. There is a lift uh, for cycling. Alternatively, you can take the stairs. It's a bit of a dingy tunnel, isn't it? But it's an incredibly useful connection. Particularly if the ferry isn't running. It's got a very cool echo, this tunnel. You can <laughs> hear the end of the voice resonating off the walls right at the end of the tunnel. It's really strange. Why is it so few people actually use the Woolwich Ferry and the Woolwich Crossing? wonder if whether we're quick enough, we might be able to catch the ferry again from Woolwich. And if so, it departs at 10, not 10, 3.45. It's currently 3.40. We've got five minutes to get out of there and onto the ferry. Finally, at the other end. Woolwich South Tunnel. Lift this time. So the stairs on the way down so we'll take the lift on the way up. Very nice lift though. Things a bit like this. Wood's a bit of a strange decoration. It's also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a, the lift is only on again. You can hit the air in the tunnel, that's so cool. 
Clock's definitely wrong. It's not 5.30. 5.50 either. Right, ferry. Don't tell me the ferry's gone. Please don't tell me the ferry's gone. Ferry's gone. Yeah, we could have waited for that. That's probably going to leave again at 4 o'clock. Should we go back through the Woolwich Street Tunnel and see if we can catch the ferry at the other end? It'll be funny if we can. I'd say we've literally just missed it. Back we go. Back to Woolwich South. It's knocking on 4 o'clock. Okay, for the first time today. God say, if we keep doing this all day. Brilliant exercise though, isn't it? This. 15th floor, 1st of January 2010 at exactly midnight. What are the chances of that? Funnily enough, it is the 1st of January 2010 and it is exactly midnight. And the Woolwich uh, Tunnel does actually have 15 floors, so that is completely correct. I don't know why you're suggesting that it's wrong. Today, fun fact, I'm not sure whether this legislation is still in use, but people decycle in the Woolwich Tunnel all the time. I think Greenwich Council legalised it. But before, the maximum fine you could receive for cycling in the Woolwich Tunnel was one pound. One pound. I assume that was put in when the Woolwich Tunnel was first built, and it survived inflation. So, <laughs> if you're caught cycling in the Woolwich Tunnel, the police can come and fine you for one pound. Where is here. We can make it this time. That's an electric vehicle charging station. Come on, I'm not missing the ferry this time. We made it. So happy. We made the ferry. Oh, you don't know how happy I am to have made this. How many times did we go for that foot tunnel? Three, three times? Oh, we're finally on the ferry heading northbound. And as the sun has just come out, I've left Woolwich. See the beautiful skyline of Canary Wharf in the distance. You see, if you didn't watch this video, you wouldn't know about all these cool ferries and cool crossings and stuff like this. There's so much more to come as well. It's really strange. It looks like it looks like the pier is coming closer to us than we. It, yeah, it looks like the pier is moving towards us rather than we're moving towards the pier. It's a really strange. I don't know. <laughs> it, it depends on your. It depends on your opinion of physics. Is the pier coming towards us, or is it, are we going towards the pier? And yeah, this pet ferry is completely free to all pedestrians. If you can, <laughs> if if the ferries are actually running at the schedule, which uh, today they were not. Usually, it's every 15 minutes between the two terminals. Today, it's more like 24. What we're gonna do now? Well, oh, we can either go through the Woolwich Tunnel again, which <laughs> I don't particularly want to do, or we can get the DLR uh, over to Woolwich and then we'll uh, do another crossing of a brand new railway, which I'm sure you'll be aware about. It's been all over the news recently. Who's crossing over the River Thames, under the River Thames, 
uh, has just recently opened. Oh, it lowers. I thought it tilted. It lowers. That's another crossing done. So we did do the Woolwich Ferry in the end. I was really worried that we were going to spend until dusk just chasing it. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, but we did it. Woolwich Crossroads Station now uh, and uh, get the train over to Custom House. Uh, as you may have guessed, uh, the Elizabeth Line is our new uh, a pigeon, pretty pigeon, uh, is our next uh, crossing across the river. What is going on there? Where are we? I think we go a bit further this way to get to Woolwich Arsenal. Ah, there's a flying branded bus as well. Can I see purple signs? Oh, it actually makes such a change to see Elizabeth Light in Woolwich with its gates open because usually when, we, when we've come here in the past the gates have been shut and we're just looking through the gates to see what we can see. But no, it's all open. This is the first time I'm using Woolwich Station after all the uh, opening day hype. Okay, we're heading to Custom House now. <laughs> it's uh, good to be down here again. Three minutes Paddington. It's still mesmerising, isn't it, at the station? The platform just boarded off train. One stop to Custom House. Probably the newest crossing of the Rotomes that we'll use today. It's been opened just a month and three days after I opened this video. After I record this video. Next station, Custom House. Silverlink tunnel, which is modernised. We really don't like how the announcement say custom house. The, <laughs> the emphasis should be on house, custom house, not custom house. Sounds just a bit wrong. Anyway, here we are, custom house. Very quick, barely three minutes after leaving Woolwich. That's an interesting one. Can you name another station on the Elizabeth Line between Paddington and Abbey Woods where you have to open the doors manually? That is a bank train. We need to make that. Good deal are coming in now, Banff Tower Gateway, we're getting this as far as Royal Victoria. One of the old B2K stock on this one. Mind the gap, Victoria here, we're changing for the Emirates airline. In fact, Emirates have been uh, removed of their uh, sponsorship of the Emirates airline. 
so in the future it will just be called the cable car. I'm not sure how many people actually commute using the um, Emirates airline. <laughs> I, don't, I can't think, I can't believe it's very much. It seems to be more of a tourist thing, it'll be interesting to see how many people use it during rush hour. Right, peak hour oyster. And there is the beautiful building of uh, Greenwich Docks, not Greenwich Docks, <laughs> sort of across the two, Royal Docks, Emirates Royal Docks. And the last time we were on the Emirates Airline must have been for the All Lines Challenge we did back in April 2021. The Emirates Airline is 10 years old this year now. We have an 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 anemometer that monitors the winds in direction and weather satellites to watch the weather in the area. Look at that. That is very cool. Right, here we go. Yeah, nice music in here as well. Hopefully it's not copy straight. Maximum speed of six meters a second, that's faster than I thought it was. And its highest point is 90 meters in the air. And it, yeah, it's 10 years old this year. Ah, and sign bus. One of Ensign's bus has just gone over whatever that road is there. I have this big red wheel. But it's gonna spin us up and up and up and up and up over the River Thames. Now oh, this is cool. I've been on this how many times I don't I don't care to I don't care to know, but it's always so so cool every time. I really hope there's no peak time charge for the Emirates airline because that would be a bit ridiculous, wouldn't it? Because it's not like commuters use us. There is City Hall, the new City Hall, the old City Hall near Tower um, Tower Bridge thing, or London Bridge sort of area. Um, this is a new site. And what a cool site. It's a bit of a brilliant place to work. This, I believe, is the Thames here. Unless it's the Victoria Dock, which I think it might... Yes, this is a Victoria Dock, not the Thames. Victoria Dock, which is the bit we're going over now, which is um, an old dock, and then uh, Thames, uh, which is uh, down here, which is the actual river itself. I think the Victoria Dock is actually wider than the Thames, which is quite funny. got TLR coming down here. I believe this is the Woolwich Arsenal branch. Wow, so much work going on. Is this all like, London sewage stuff? You can hear the train as well. It's surprisingly loud. That is so cool. When, when I go explore, I don't like looking at historic buildings and monuments and stuff like that. That's boring. This is cool. I wonder how wide the River Thames is here. Are we actually higher in the air than the River Thames is wide? And we're now going down over the River Thames. If you're the sort of person that sort of might be a bit apprehensive at this sort of thing, like it's, it's really smooth. It's really smooth, it's really pleasant. The views are really spectacular. And they're even more spectacular this way, look at that. How far can we see out to? Where's that? That must be sort of like Essex area. 
that's probably due north. And we're already nearly at our terminus of uh, Emirates Greenwich Peninsula, close to North Greenwich train station. Right next to North Greenwich Station. Okay, welcome to North Greenwich. We're coming on platform three, ready to board the service van for Kang Town, which is going to be our next destination, just north of the river. So yes, all these tube tunnels do count. But these are all crossings of the River Thames that are public publicly accessible. Oh dear, it's rammed. Oh dear, no bind. Let's see if we can get on. <laughs> hey, welcome to Canning Town. We're now north of the river. And what we're going to do from here is get a bus, get a new 115 bus to Baisley Street. For one important reason, which you, yeah, you'll, you'll figure out in a minute. This is an interesting East London line, okay. <laughs> this wall must be incredibly old. It's in the older version of Johnston as well, you can see. Here's our bus, 115 to Oldgate. I made my way over to perhaps one of the most unappealing bus stops in London. It's by the side of the A102, so it's the 108 bus, but it's the only way that we're going to be able to get across the Blackpool Tunnel, which is the next crossing that we need to do. This is going to be difficult. At least we found the bus stop. This really is one of the most unpleasant areas of London I've ever been to. You can feel how thick the air is, it's not nice. Unfortunately this is one of the crossings that we are going to have to do. It's just the sort of thing we have to do. Hopefully our bus should be due any minute now. I really hope it's due. I've never been so happy to see a Sitara in my whole life. Yes, time to go underneath the Blackpool Tunnel, finally out of the misery box that is the A102 and onto some nice public transport. Well, it's a Citaro, nice, covers it to an extent. Here we are, Blackpool Tunnel going underneath the Thames. Blackpool Tunnel has two um, tunnels, it's got the North Tunnel and the South Tunnel. We are going, uh, or the, it's the East Tunnel and the West Tunnel, <laughs> actually, um, not, so, not North and South. We are, I believe, in the East uh, Tunnel. Uh, this tunnel does not have, uh, except pedestrians, so do not try and walk in this tunnel. I don't think you particularly want to, really, but just don't. 
and the 108 is the only bus route that goes through this tunnel. We're going now south of the River Thames. Finally, 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 we're here at North Greenwich oh, Station. Back where we were a minute ago, except we're at the bus station, starting North Greenwich. Is that just the Jubilee Line just there? Uh, and we're going to take that uh, to uh, Canary Wharf, which is again uh, north of the river. So people want to get on the 108. Okay, Jubilee Line now for the very final leg uh, down to Canary Wharf today. And that is where we'll finish, uh, finish our day. North Greenwich. I love that announcement. Oh, welcome to a very, very busy Canary Wharf station where we will finish our day today. Where, where did we start? We started at Tilbury this morning and we are finishing here at the beautiful Canary Wharf having completed so many crossings of the river. In the next episode, we'll be uh, covering crossings uh, further west, perhaps towards the centre of London. We might be able to get even further than that. That's all to come in the next episode. Anyway, we're going to get the Elizabeth line home today. So thank you very, very much for watching. If you did enjoy what you did see, then please do like the video uh, down below and do consider subscribing if you enjoy my content. And I'll see you in another video. Bye, everyone. You know, Wolf Station is just beautiful, isn't it?